All right, back to another album review. Today's review is on The Bronx, September 14th, 2011, by Metallica. This is another entry in the Light Metallica series of official bootlegs. This concert took place at Yankee Stadium on uh, September 14th, 2011. The album was recorded by Mike Gillies and mixed by Jim Monty. Uh, the back cover was designed by Jeff Yeager. And the front cover was designed by Mickey Jones. Now, according to Discogs, this album was released on August 17th, 2020 on Black and Recordings and distributed by Nugs.net. Now, this is a two-disc set, and we're going to start with the songs on disc one. The beginning of the set list is Creeping Death. The song was originally on Ride the Lightning. Uh, the next track is For Whom the Bell Tolls, which is another song from Ride the Lightning. After that is Fuel. This is the very first song on Reload. Next up is Ride the Lightning. Of course, this is the title track from the album of the same name. Up next is Kirk's solo number one. As the title implies, this is Kirk Hammett's first guitar solo of the whole concert. That's followed up by Fade to Black. And this is another song from Ride the Lightning. We followed up with Cyanide. The song was originally on Death Magnetic. The following track is All Nightmare Along, which is my favorite song from Death Magnetic. The track that follows it is Sad But True. This is track 2 on the Black Album. The second to last track on disc 1 is Welcome Home Sanitarium. The song was initially on Master of Puppets. The end of disc 1 is Orion, which is another iconic song from Master of Puppets. That's it for disc 1, and now for disc 2. The beginning of Diz 2 is 1. Whenever Metallica plays a song during a live show, and this normally means that, that we're at the halfway point. However, there are some exceptions to this. The track after that is Master of Puppets, which is a title track from the album of the same name. What comes next is Blackened. This is the first song on Injustice for All. What comes after that is Kirk's solo number two. As you may have guessed, this is the second guitar solo from Kirk. What's next is Nothing Else Matters, which is among the most popular songs from the, the Black Album. What's after that is Enter Sandman. Metallica normally either, um, uh, they normally either play this at the very end of the concert or near the end. In this case, it's near the end. The next track is Overkill. This is a Motorhead cover. Of course, Metallica have covered other Motorhead songs, and Motorhead has covered some Metallica songs. That, I think, is fucking awesome. For this cover, Metallica were joined by, uh, by members of Slayer, Anthrax, and Megadeth on stage. Second to last track is Battery, and this first appeared on Master of Puppets. The end of this concert is Seek and Destroy. This is the second to last track from Kill Em All. There is no information available regarding how this album performs commercially. On the other hand, this album does have a 4.5 out of 5 on Discogs, despite the fact that only two people have reviewed it as of the making of this video. Now for my thoughts. I really enjoy this album. I notice that most of the songs in the set list come from Metallica's first four albums. You know, the Motorhead cover only adds to the awesomeness of this album. Overall, I highly recommend this album. You know, you know, if you want a copy for yourself, you can always get it from Metallica's web store. There's a link in the description. Now this is part where I question you. 
Have you listened to it, the Bronx, September 14th, 2011? If so, what do you think about it? What's your favorite song from it? Did you attend this concert? Yeah, let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to press the notification bell to notify you of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another review.